Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Lockman, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more about Flash Catalyst. Now, you can see right now that I am in Illustrator CS5, and what I've done is mocked up a simple application that's going to have some navigation. In Catalyst, you have the ability to go from a design file directly to web. So what I've created here is a document that has a few buttons, a nice sidebar, and several different pages. So each of these pages, when we import it, will end up being a state. Now, what you do to design for Catalyst is you put the things that will change on the new pages. So you'll notice that I don't have all of these navigation items on every page. I only have the new content. And the reason for that is that Catalyst has a feature that will allow me to distribute these items right here to every state. So, let's switch on over to Catalyst. We'll quit Illustrator. We'll say new design project from file. We'll go over here, go to the tutorials, and we'll say simple nav. It's going to initialize the import library. Now, you'll see we have artboard size and color over here, which is what we want to keep. Then we have all these different options. The filters, we want to keep the filters editable. The text, we probably want to keep editable too. The gradients, we could keep editable. The blends will automatically convert. We want to import non-visible layers and include unused symbols. Analyzing file. Importing layers. This usually takes a long time and it takes longer depending on the size of your illustrator document okay so here we are S some usually we have some import warnings because some items are not supported by flash catalyst like skewed items so if you do some rotation it may not be supported now let's take a look here we have all the different artboards have been built for us because they were there in illustrator you also see down here in the timelines, if we can get it to come up here, all of our different transitions between every state has been built. So the artboard 1 to every other artboard, the artboard 2 to every other artboard, artboard 3 to every other artboard, and artboard 4 to every other artboard. They've already been built for us. So what we're going to do, we're going to select all of the transitions, and we're going to say smooth transitions. So the transition between every state is going to be a smooth transition, fade in, fade out. Now, what we want to do is we'll go to Artboard 1. Now, these things you'd like to be buttons, probably. So, we wait. Have all these different things. Now, what we want to do is we want to convert the artwork to a button. It has effects or interactions. We don't care if they're deleted because we'll add some new effects. Button appearance. Convert this one to a button. Convert this one to a button and convert the last one to a button. Okay. Now, what we want to do is go through here, add some button interactions. Well, where do we put Flash Catalyst? We put the Flash Catalyst logo on the third artboard. So, we want this one, have an interaction, go to state, state 3, when in any state. Okay. The Flash Builder one, well, where is that? That's on artboard 4. So, the Flash Builder button have an interaction, it will go to state 4 when in any state. The Photoshop artboard is on state 2. Go to state 2 when in any state. And Illustrator is on state 1. Play transition to state. State 1, when in any state. Now, we have all of our button interactions defined, but you'll notice that the buttons aren't there on every state. Well, how do we fix that? We select all of this. Make sure we have it all selected. Right click on it, and you'll see it has share to state. We can have it share to every state, which is what we want to do. And now you'll see this is in every single state of the document. Build the application by hitting Command Enter. We open the application in our web browser. 
loads and our buttons do exactly what they're supposed to do now what's really cool about this is that we can now go and add some different effects to this text so let's edit the button appearance well if it's gonna be up it's just gonna be plain over let's say we wanna go over here to our properties panel can add a filter let's add a drop shadow and we'll add an outer glow when it's down the drop shadow will go away as if it's been pressed and it will still just have the glow and since it's never going to be disabled we don't care about that let's do the same for all of the other buttons add the drop shadow the glow and this is using the same effects library that's in Photoshop and Illustrator so you may recognize some of these effects. Go to the next button, edit the overstate, and the drop shadow, our downstate, just have the glow. Now, another thing that we can do, because we told it to keep the text editable, is we can go here and change all of the text as if we were creating this in Flash Catalyst. Catalyst does not seem to care whether or not you bring it in from Illustrator or whether you create it in the document. It treats it the same. So it ends up converting it to exactly the same thing. Now another feature we can do is we can have it display the hand cursor when it's over the button, which could be useful if it's like a link or something because it's what links normally look like in the web browser. Go to our last button. Add our filters. Oop you gotta go to the overstate click on it add our filters our glow and our drop shadow go to our downstate add our glow save it we'll save it as simple nav right on the desktop go back out so we have all this stuff here Hit Command Enter to build the project. And now we have all of our neat button effects transitioned correctly. Another thing I want to show you, because we came in from Illustrator, it preserved all of our layers. So that's interesting. What you can do is you can do all of the same editing that you would have done in Illustrator with respect to layering. That's another way to design files is with having different layers be different states. However, that's used more commonly with Photoshop rather than Illustrator. Now what we can also do is send this text back to Illustrator. So if we have these things, we can say send to Illustrator to edit once we've already imported. So that's all I have for this tutorial. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to go directly from Illustrator into Catalyst, build our state transitions, go into, I mean, go from Illustrator into Catalyst, build our state transitions and all of our effects, and then go directly into Flash Builder and build some back-end code to manage the application. That's all for now, and I will see you next time.